Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. TSMC was invited to build a factory in the United States. Morris Zhang refused at first until the United States promised to provide large subsidies. In addition, TSMC's major customers are all in the United States, so TSMC finally chose to build a factory in the United States, and not just 5 nanometers, now it is confirmed that the 3 nanometers factory will be built in the United States. What will this lead to? Is it right or wrong for TSMC to go to the United States to build a factory? The choice of TSMC to build a factory in the United States is regrettable. TSMC has mastered the world's leading chip manufacturing technology, and with its powerful process technology, it has produced one after another top-level chips for American customers. Qualcomm's Snapdragon series, Apple's A-Series and NVIDIA's top GPUs are almost all produced by TSMC. The cooperation between TSMC and American companies has been maintained for decades, but at the invitation of the United States, TSMC began to transfer its chip production capacity to the United States. In the future, American customers can purchase chips directly from their doorsteps. Apple CEO Cook has confirmed that he will purchase chip products from TSMC's Arizona factory in the future. Not only Apple but other American customers will also place their orders locally, which can shorten the chip delivery time and save the extra costs of international logistics. From the perspective of the United States, TSMC built a high-end chip factory in the United States, which can improve the controllability of the chip manufacturing industry chain and realize the closed loop of the chip industry. The choice of TSMC to build a factory in the United States seems to be a source of wealth. In fact, for the United States, it is not important who will build the factory. What is important is that it can bring advanced process technology guarantee. TSMC's 5 nanometers, for nanometers and other high-end process technologies are world-leading, and the United States needs such technical support. However, after the rise of Intel's technology, it is hard to say whether TSMC can maintain its current cooperative position in the U.S. market. Some foreign media said that TSMC's choice is regrettable. There are two main reasons for this. First of all, the United States is not sincerely cooperating with TSMC. The United States covets TSMC's technology and talents and tries every means to guide TSMC to build factories in the United States. After TSMC's U.S. factory is completed, it will be easier for the United States to obtain further technical and talent support. The obtained technology and talents may be secretly provided to Intel. After all, Intel is the chip giant in the United States. Compared with foreign companies, the United States is more willing to see Intel realize the rise of technology. Therefore, for TSMC, the United States does not cooperate sincerely. Otherwise, TSMC will not be excluded from the 2 nanometers cooperation project with Japan, and it will not focus on giving the most chip subsidies to Intel. It is clear that TSMC pays the most and bears the largest chip cost. With very little return. Secondly, TSMC's going to the United States to build a factory will lead to the loss of production capacity and brain power. TSMC puts most of its chip production capacity in the Shinshu Park of its headquarters, where a large number of talents have gathered, and it has also attracted top suppliers such as ASML to build a local industrial chain and enrich the ecology of the park. Only by holding its own technology in its hands can TSMC guarantee its position as the industry leader. However, TSMC's going to the United States to build a factory 
will result in the loss of production capacity and brain power. Presumably everyone already knows that TSMC transports equipment and employees from its headquarters to the American factory. This has aroused concerns about production capacity and brain drain. If TSMC's core competitive resources are all in the United States, then the headquarters area will be hollowed out. Even if TSMC retains some resources, as the United States continues to ask TSMC to build factories, TSMC will transfer the remaining resources to the United States. Is it right or wrong for TSMC to go to the United States to build a factory? TSMC could have firmly held production capacity technology in its hands. Even if it refused to build a factory in the United States, the United States could not do anything to TSMC. After all, the United States also relies on TSMC to manufacture chips. If TSMC is shut down due to the measures of the United States, it will only be the United States itself that will suffer. This is a key bargaining chip, but TSMC does not seem to realize this and has taken the step of building a factory in the United States. So is it right or wrong for TSMC to build a factory in the United States? In the short term, TSMC's establishment of factories in the United States can indeed obtain more support from American orders, and major customers such as Apple, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA will actively start production. TSMC has decided to build 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers factories in the United States. These are the guarantees for obtaining customer orders. After the production capacity is gradually increased, the order volume will increase. As a commercial company, TSMC is understandable to make money, and it is hard to refuse a better way to make money. But in the long run, Orders from TSMC's American customers may be gradually taken away, because Intel is vigorously developing its chip foundry business and becoming one of TSMC's biggest competitors in the United States. Intel plans to become the world's second largest chip foundry in 2030. Prior to this, Intel was wooing TSMC's customers to cooperate and has already received some orders from Mediatek and NVIDIA and AMD are also becoming Intel's customers. Once Intel rises, it is estimated that TSMC itself does not know how many customer orders TSMC is pursuing. Therefore, it is clear at a glance whether TSMC is right or wrong to build a factory in the United States. Under U.S. rules, TSMC lost cooperation with its second-largest customer. I don't know whether the United States is intentional or unintentional, so that TSMC has a very large dependence on American customers, and the proportion of revenue from the American market is getting higher and higher. In order to make money, TSMC had to choose to build a factory in the United States. It is possible to make money, but if you put your own future into it, TSMC should figure out whether it is worth it. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share. Thank you.